welcome to the LA trip with a little stop in Vancouver to start with. So um, I leave tomorrow. The first stop is Vancouver. Um, I've got an 18 hour layover, deliberately. So I am going to um, get a tattoo, do some shopping, get some poutine, and then go to sleep and then go to the airport for my flight to LA. So then Vancouver to LA. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I am completely obsessed with um, a little Disney show called High School Musical the Musical the Series. Um, I have a little tattoo dedicated to two of the characters, Seb and Carlos. The guy who plays Carlos in the show, uh, Frankie Rodriguez, has got opening night of uh, a show he's in. So I'm going to go and see that. And I'm super, super excited. I like painted my nails blue and yellow, which are like the show colors um, in preparation. The girl who plays uh, Ashlyn, so Julia Lester, um, she's in uh, a production of The Secret Garden. So I'm basically going, seeing these two shows and then gonna come back to Big White on Monday. So it's gonna be a crazy weekend. Um, this is a little bit insane, but I am so excited. So yeah, that is tomorrow morning. So at the moment I am packing my bag. Um, I've literally just got one small bag, uh, with me and that is it. But the problem is I'm going from Big White, which is like negative 10 or whatever, to LA, which I think is like 20 degrees at the moment in Celsius. So... That's gonna be interesting. I am gonna be absolutely boiling. But yeah, that's just a little introduction to uh, what this vlog is gonna be. I just woke up. Um, it's like 7 a.m. This is the earliest I've been up probably since I got to Big White. So I'm gonna be ready, try to be ready for like 8 a.m. And then I'm being picked up at 8.30. So I'm excited. It has been a long day. I arrived in Vancouver. Um, everything was good. Then I had to go straight to uh, my friend's work to pick up the keys. Shout out to Gareth for letting me stay at his place. I wrote um, some letters to uh, Joe and Frankie. Seeing Frankie and Julia perform, um, but I also wrote a letter to Joe, um, and I'm just gonna leave it with Frankie if I, if I see them. So I got little pride stickers for them and little pride bracelets. Um, and I got some little Canada uh, flag pin badges as well that I do not know where they have gone. And then um, I went to Adrenaline in Vancouver to get some more tattoos. Then I came back here um, and it's quite late. It's like 6 p.m. Um, I say quite late, quite late for the fact I've got to get up at 4 a.m. So the show was gonna be at 8 p.m. tomorrow, but there is also a showing at 2 p.m. So I have bought tickets to two shows. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and see the 2 p.m. showing and the 8 p.m. showing, because why not? I've come all the way to LA, I may as well. My flight lands at 11 a.m. and I've got to get out of the airport, all the way over to Burbank, which is like the complete other side of LA, and then see if I can check into my hotel or like leave my bag and then walk 25 minutes to the theater and then get there in time. So yeah, I'm gonna be kind of a bit close, but it's fine. Good morning. It is 4 a.m. So I'm gonna quickly get ready, grab all my stuff, walk to the SkyTrain station. It is so cold and so rainy. That is Vancouver and so dark, but I've got 20 minutes to walk and then I'll be at the SkyTrain station. I got to the airport, it took like 40 minutes to get through 
security. The line was so long. Um, and then went through passport control here in Vancouver. It was like so easy. It was like the quickest US border control ever. He was like, where are you going? LA. He was like, cool, bye. <laughs> so that was great. And now we've got like maybe like half an hour until we start boarding. I'm just boarding. I'm so excited. I have been in LA for two minutes. It's so hot. 17 degrees, but it feels like 20. I have arrived in Burbank. Checked in. Sebastian has made himself comfortable. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just gonna like sort myself out. Probably, this is not gonna stand up. There we go. Probably <laughs> sort myself out, probably like have a shower, get ready. I don't quite know if I have time for a nap because I'm just outside, I'm staying just outside the center of Burbank because it was like cheap. Um, so I think it's gonna take me like, 25 minutes half an hour to walk in and I want to like grab some food or something beforehand depending or just like have a look around because the theatre's in a shopping mall so I don't know I'll just I'll just see I'm just I'm so tired I've been up since 4am so even though it's only midday I feel like I've already had a full day it's ridiculous this this is the outfit I'm probably just gonna keep this same outfit on to go and watch it tonight because I don't have enough clothes to change outfits. I think the theatre's over there somewhere, but we'll see. Look what I found! Oh my god! Look what's over here! And then the posters. Found some more posters! You guys, we have. No. I just saw the first show. It was incredible. I, I, it was just incredible. <laughs> so beside my clip, um, I'm still shaking. Look at the sunset. And that way it's pretty as well. Oh look. Apparently there's like a red carpet or something happening from the theatre's Instagram. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find that. And then apparently after the show, there's like a post-show reception with like a bunch of people. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. I'm literally just, I don't know. Now I'm just waiting for the second show. Oh my goodness, what a night. I, I have so much to say. The last time I filmed something was just before going in for the opening show. Um, so I'd already seen it once. Um, we went in, everything was like super, super fancy. We got like our like things in like a fancy like, colony theatre like you told them your name and they gave you a ticket on the door I felt very like special and there we go that's my that's my ticket which is so cool um and I'd already got um I'd already got Frankie to sign my playbill earlier which was incredible and got a photo with him and he was so so lovely so when I met him earlier on uh, in the day, like he was just coming out. He was obviously like, you know, leaving or whatever. Um, Cause he was like trying to get out the door. Um, so I got him and he signed my playbill and um, we got a selfie and like, I told him um, that like the show was amazing and all this and like we hugged and everything. And it was just, he was so nice and so lovely. So that was amazing. And then went in to see the second show um, and there was, it was completely packed theatre. So to start with, um, we met Matt Cornett, who plays EJ in h 70 MTS. I just turned around and I was like, Matt. So that was insane. And then we met Sailor, who plays Maddox in h 70 MTS. Um, and then she was like, have you met Matt? And we were like, yep, yeah, we've, we've already spoken to him. So that was incredible. I was like, what? 
is my life right now. Went in, saw the show, just as incredible as the first time. And then they all came out afterwards. Um, so I got the whole cast, all four of them, to sign my playbill. So, which is just amazing. So I've got all four of them to sign my playbill, which is just crazy, crazy, crazy. And they were all so lovely as well. And then we were trying to find Frankie, but then we found him and he spotted me and he noticed me and he recognized me from earlier and was like, oh my God, what did you think the second time round? And I was like, ah, you remembered me. I showed him my Sebelos tattoo. He was like, oh my God, this is amazing. He was like, I have to take a photo of this and send it to Joe. Now, Frankie has a picture of my leg on his phone. Um, it is my tattoo, but how wild is that? For my wonderful brain cell group chat on Twitter, I got Frankie to sign a bunch of stuff for them. I literally went up to him and was like, I was like, I know this is a lot, but would you mind signing this for my friends? And I'm gonna mail it to them as a surprise. He was like, oh my God, yes. He was like, I'll draw a little heart. So he drew a heart around his own face. I just, I can't get over it. It was incredible. Sebastian is here to get me through. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I was up for 21 hours yesterday. I cannot believe that yesterday happened. How, how is yesterday real? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm still like remembering more things. Like, you know, when you go over things in your head and you're like, oh yeah, and this, oh my God, and this. So yeah, that's crazy. That's just completely insane. Um, I'm probably gonna chill at the hotel room and I don't know, maybe try and have another nap. I was out for the whole day yesterday and my legs really hurt, my arms really hurt, everything really hurts. Let me, let me just, let me show you what my knee is looking like. So my knee is still very, very sore. Um, so that was fun to walk around on yesterday. So it is an incredibly beautiful sunny day. It is clear blue skies, bright sunshine. I love it. I'm walking into um, the center of Burbank. I'm gonna just chill out. Um, and then um, head into downtown later on for the secret garden. Look at how beautiful it is! This beautiful heart wall. So I decided to get a healthy breakfast of noodles um, and I'm probably gonna chill out here for a bit. I don't know. Write to the little notes that I'm gonna send with the uh, things I got Frankie to sign last night and then make my way to downtown LA before it gets dark. Chill out there for a little bit. I think there's like a little plaza by the um, by the theater. Watch that show. Go to the airport and sleep there. I have arrived in downtown LA at the whatever theater this is. This place is like, like fancy fancy. The one in Burbank was just like, you know, a random little tiny theater by a shopping mall. This is insane with like statues and the wonderful sunset. I'm trying to find a secret garden poster. Ah, the secret garden. I also found an Into the Woods poster, but obviously Julia's not in that anymore, but she was in it on Broadway. And then the secret garden and then the secret garden, and then the secret garden, and then over there as well. Look, someone drew a heart in the sky. I'm going on a little adventure. Not really sure what this building is, but it's kind of like, it's some kind of park. It looks cute though. So it has got a lot darker now. I've walked back up. Whatever was in that theatre has just come out because loads of people have left. But it's all lit up. All of the lights. It's 
so pretty. We're about to go in very soon. Just a little bit further away. Just, just all the way down there. Oh my god, so just saw the secret garden. It was so good. Julia is like amazing in it. The second cellar that she had, I like cried at the end. Oh my god, it was so beautiful. Anyway, I am now just waiting for an Uber, which is taking so long. I am so cold, so cold. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the airport and try and sleep for a little bit. It is currently like 20 to midnight, so I'll probably get to the airport around to midnight and then my flight is at 6 a.m and i think the check-in security stuff normally opens at like four so i've got like four hours to try and sleep and then i'm definitely gonna sleep on the plane i'm very cold i put on all my clothes i have made it to lax let me just show you my uh bed for the night that up there is the security but it doesn't open until like 4 a.m so they won't let anybody in right now so instead there's people along the walls where i am along down there and along down there charging my phone right here so yeah this 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 is the setup it's just the floor. It is time! It is 4am. I am so tired. I'm so tired. I managed to sleep on the plane a little bit, like for a few hours, but maybe like two out of the three hours of the flight from LA. But now this flight's only an hour and then I've got like four hours in Vancouver. I'm back in Canada. Just gotta go through customs, passport control, so I'm very chill. Um, and then I've got like four hours to my next flight, so I'm gonna try and find some postage stamps so I can send the things that Frankie signed. We're on the last flight. Basically just napped in the terminal. It was great. Yeah, that's well no, it's it's starting with another. I have landed in Kelowna. Got Tim Hortons. Hot chocolate because I'm cold. Of course. And I'm just waiting for the shuttle. The things had to wait by the ski racks inside. So I see the ski racks. So I'm just chilling in the clothes that I've been in for like so long. So I am back at Big White. I'm so tired. My hair is doing its own thing. Oh my goodness. I, I need to sort everything out for tomorrow morning. I've got to work tomorrow. I've got to be up at eight. I'm so tired, but it was so, so worth it. I've put my, um, there we go. I've put my signed playbill and everything over there. And I'm going to print out one of the photos of me and Frankie and put it with the rest of my stuff. But this this weekend was just completely insane. I was like, oh, you know, I'll go and see the show and it'll be cool. And then it was just better than I could ever have imagined. I still, I, I still, I still can't get over it. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was the, my little LA meeting three of the High School Musical cast and seeing two of them perform. Um, craziness. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is very, very chaotic.